Hi there. Today I'm going to talk about top three things which you should know before you start your PMP preparation. Um, who am I? My name is Kavita Sharma. I am the author of Past PMP in 21 Days Study Guide, which is the bestseller in the market. I'm also listed as contributor to PMBOG. I have reviewed PMBOG and my name is in the significant contributors. I have also reviewed a lot of PMI's e-learning uh, videos, e-learning courses. A few of them are CAPM, PMP, and so on. I was also part of PMI's uh, something called CAST, which is the steering team member for college eventualization. Um, so that's about me. So let's get started as to what are those top three things which you should know before you start off your PMP preparation. So let's get started with three truths which no one is telling you about the PMP exam. The first one, what is it? The PMP exam is not based on PM Box 7. Many people, especially those who are not ATPs, what is ATP? Authorized Training Partners. They might tell you that the PMP exam is based on latest PM Box, which is PM Box 7, but that is incorrect. The PMP exam is based on PMP exam content outline. This is the document everyone should refer to before starting the PMP preparation. Let us see what PMI says about how to prepare for the PMP exam. Let's see. So I'm just going to browse through the uh, PMI, PMP page. So you come to PMI.org, come to uh, the certification called PMP. When you click here, you're going to come to this page, which is here. So um, why should you do it? All of these details are here. I'm just going to take you to prepare when we look at the prepare uh, pmi obviously have a self study course you can enroll yourself out there um, there is exam simulator also and then you can get the pmp training through any instructor which is a ttt i'm going to talk about that slightly later but you can uh, get a training through pmi authorized trainer now, um, the resources, um, it talks about, you know, what is the application checklist. There's a certification handbook and there's something called PMP exam content outline. What is it? This is the document which you need to be looking at when we, um, when we say what is the PMP exam based on. So when I click on download, it opens the PMP exam content outline. I have opened it for you here. This is the exam content outline just um, in a different software. And this is, if you look at the date, it is updated in January 2021. Pretty long back, but what it talks about is um, what is the PMP exam based on? Um, three domains and the percentage of questions on those domains. And um, what should you know from that domain? For example, in people domain, you should know how to manage conflict. How should you lead a team? How should you support team performance? Uh, how would you build a team? How would you uh, address and remove impediments, obstacle? How would you negotiate uh, for agreements? How would you collaborate with stakeholders? This is all in people. And then there are processes. Um, how would you communicate? How would you manage risk? How would you work with stakeholders and so on? Um, so this is where your PMP examination question is going to come. And this is one of the most important document which you're going to look at. Um, now, when I look at, you know, what are the reference book which I should be looking at? I would go back to the PMI site again and then go to the exam reference list. This is at the bottom. And here, if you would see, it says top 10 um, references are blah, blah, blah. Um, the best way to know what is covered in the PMP exam is to understand ECO. The, what is ECO? I showed you ECO right now. The thing which we have downloaded from here, and I opened it for you. Um, if you look at PMBOK, they have not mentioned any version of PMBOK. Um, and it is just it is just one of the book published which can be referenced by for the PMB exam. You also definitely have to refer Agile Practice Guide for the PMP exam. So 
um, PMP exam is not based on PM box seven. That is first myth you should know. So if somebody comes in and tells you PMP exam is based on PM box seven and we teach you a compliant, um, you know, course, do not go by that. If you have a test prep kit or, you know, test questions and which refers to PM box, you know, page number, this line number, this, and this is how the, what is the answer of this particular question? Do not go by this. That era of the PMP examination has gone, ended in 2021. The second myth which you don't know, a second thing which you nobody tells you, PMI releases its own material for the PMP exam. So um, why it has happened? Because January 2021, PMI has created uh, or launched the PMI Eco. And in the PMP Eco, you had, you know, different things like, you know, agile, uh, people, process and business involvement. So there was a reason um, the PMI needed to standardize the PMP delivery um, and there are many delivery partners. There were multiple reference book now at this point of time, PMBOK being one of them. So what PMI did was they changed a few things. They introduced a program called ATP. What is ATP? ATP is Authorized Training Provider. And they said that only authorized trainers which are authorized via ATP, they are the only one who would be able to provide a training which is certified by PMI. And they also released the authorized study material for PMP. So um, there is a PMP material which PMI releases. The material got changed very recent, January 2024. Uh, so the PMI keep on updating the material and the new material is pretty nice um, and very elaborate. So you, you should get the PMI approved material for your PMP prep. prep. Um, why it is important? Please check whether the trainer who's training you has a TTT badge. What is TTT badge? Train the trainer for PMP. And if the organization, wherever you are getting the training, they are giving you PMI authorized material or not. The third thing, the PMP exam has become easier with Agile coming in. Hmm, with Agile, how come it be easier? So um, PMI introduced uh, Agile methodology in their latest ECO, which is Jan 2021, you know that. The impact of that um, you know, introducing agile methodology was that 40 to 50, maybe 60% of the exam questions are on hybrid methodologies, which include agile, waterfall methodologies together. What are hybrid project? The project which uses, uh, so, you know, in their documentation phase, they might use agile uh, methodology at the time of construction phase they use waterfall so there is a concept of hybrid project and it's it's taking uh, shape in various industries as we speak what is the advantage um, by getting agile um, methodology in the PMP exam it's easier for candidate which are for from software background because then it becomes easier instead of thinking in processes what is input what is tools and technique what is output agile introduction has made it easier now what about the people who are not from agile background people who are from construction background or people who have come only from a waterfall life cycle now for you guys you need to understand agile at least the basics of Agile with examples so that it's very clear in your mind, you know, where can you apply Agile principles or Agile methodology in your um, project itself as a hybrid methodology. So select an instructor, select an agency which is very good in teaching Agile methodology. The person, the instructor should have gone through, has led Agile projects. So that is a person who would be able to tell you 
and teach you on various methodologies. Do not just go and select anybody as your trainer. The better you know the concept, you would have better chances to pass the PMP exam. Because it has become very, very easy and very, very, very people focused. So if you know that, you should be able to pass the exam very nicely. So let's recap. What has changed? or what people are not telling you, that PMP exam is not based on PM Box 7. It's a myth. Uh, what is PMP exam based on? It is based on PMI ECO. What is ECO? Exam content outline. Where would you find it? Go to PMI.org. Go to certification page of PMP. Download it. PMI creates its own material for PMP exam that you know. And then PMP exam has become easier if you know Agile. If you don't know Agile, please get in touch with the instructor or follow YouTube channel wherein you can understand Agile. That's pretty much it. If you have any question, you can talk to me, write to me at help at kavitasharma.net. And thank you for listening in. My name is Kavita, signing off. Bye-bye.